Today I'm going to show you the family tree of North Korea's Kim Dynasty. At the moment there are reports that the current leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, might be seriously ill. This has led many people to wonder what might happen if the supreme leader were to pass away. Well, first of all, let me tell you, we don't actually know. There is no set line of succession, and information from North Korea is notoriously unreliable and difficult to obtain. But with that said, let's take a look at the family tree and familiarize ourselves with the many players. The first thing you need to know is that Kim is the family name. In Korea, the family name comes first, and this is a bit confusing for English speakers since we usually uh, put our family name as our last name. We're going to start with Kim Bo Hyun. Kim Bo Hyun was a commoner who lived in a small village near Pyongyang. He was the father of Kim Hyung Jik who in turn was the father of North Korea's founder, Kim Il-sung. When these first two generations were born, North Korea was still an independent kingdom. But by the time Kim Il-sung was born, North Korea had become part of the Japanese Empire. Of course, the Japanese Empire disintegrated at the end of World War II. At this time, Korea became divided with the North being influenced by the Soviet Communists and the South being influenced by the United States. In 1948, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which is the formal name for North Korea, was established and Kim Il-sung was chosen as its first leader. Soon after that, a cult of personality developed around him, and the Kim dynasty ended up becoming a hereditary dictatorship. Kim Il-sung ruled for almost 46 years and was succeeded by his eldest son, Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il then ruled for over 17 years before being succeeded by his son, Kim Jong-un, who is the current leader of North Korea. But Kim Jong-un was not actually his firstborn son. And this is why the family tree gets a bit complicated at this point. Kim Jong-il is thought to have had at least two wives and three mistresses. The exact number of children that he has is unknown, but I'm going to point out the main ones. His only legitimate child is a daughter by his second wife named Kim Sol Song. She served in various capacities for her father, but her current role is unknown. His eldest known son was named Kim Jong Nam. His mother was an actress and one of his father's mistresses. For several years, it was thought that he would be next in line. However, in 2001, he was arrested in Japan while using a fake passport. Supposedly, he was trying to visit Disneyland. Whatever the truth may be, he quickly fell from favor. And then several years after his younger brother gained power, he was assassinated in Malaysia. Then there's Kim Jong-chul, the older full brother of Kim Jong-un. Their mother was another one of Kim Jong-il's mistresses, but she was later given the title the respected mother who is the most faithful and loyal subject to the dear leader, comrade, supreme commander. But her eldest son was passed over, as it seems Kim Jong-un was his father's favorite. Kim Jong-chul's current role is somewhat unclear, but in the West, he is perhaps best known for showing up occasionally at Eric Clapton concerts. Finally, there's Kim Yo Jung, who is a younger, full sister of Kim Jong-un. 
She's supposedly very close to her brother and is quite active in government affairs. So what would happen if Kim Jong-un were to suddenly die? Well, first of all, it's unclear how many children Kim Jong-un might have. It's thought that his eldest child is an eight-year-old daughter named Kim ju ae so we can probably rule her out. Any of his three surviving siblings are possibilities, but most experts think that the most likely person out of those three would be his younger sister, Kim Yo Jong. Then, of course, there's the first in line according to agnatic primogeniture, Kim Han Sol, son of the late Kim Jong Nam. His whereabouts are currently unknown, as there have been assassination attempts on him as well. I think we would only see him as a potential candidate if North Korea completely fell apart and the West wanted to prop up a potential ally. There's a few people left from older generations, although I think the likelihood of any of them coming to power is very remote. As far as we know, Kim Il-sung's younger brother, Kim Yong-ju, is still alive. However, he's like 100 years old by now, so not really a top contender. There's also Kim Jong-un's aunt, Kim Kyung-hui. She was married to a high-ranking official who served as the de facto ruler of North Korea when Kim Jong-il started to become ill. However, when Kim Jong-un took over, he famously had his uncle executed. So it seems that this branch of the family is unlikely as well. Then there's his uncle Kim Pyong-il, the younger half-brother of Kim Jong-il. He's been a career diplomat up to this point, serving as the ambassador to several European countries over the years. So who would become the leader of North Korea if Kim Jong-un were to suddenly die? Well, I think there are two possible scenarios. The first one, assuming that things don't fall apart completely, would probably involve his sister Kim Yo-jong stepping in, either as supreme leader herself or as a sort of regent for one of Kim Jong-un's children. The second scenario would probably simply be a huge power vacuum, which could potentially lead to civil war, foreign intervention, and just plain chaos. I guess only time will tell. Let me know in the comments what you think would happen. And if you're interested in learning more about Korean history, I suggest you check out my video on the Korean monarchy family tree, which I'll link to at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.